Hello, everyone. Welcome to Photography. I'm Shelby Margaret Hageman. The students call me Miss Margaret, but you can call me Shelby or Miss Margaret. Either way is totally fine. Um, so a little bit about me. I teach both photography and stained glass, but I do love all sorts of different types of art, different art mediums. I really like exploring different types of art and trying new things through art and also seeing lots of other people's perspectives through art and what other people have to share through art. Um, I also love sharing all of that with students. So I absolutely love art and being able to then share that with other people. Um, I do find arts to be really important, especially right now. I think right now we all need art more than ever, and we, we all really need a way to be creative in our lives. Um, so me personally, and I've seen it with lots of other people, that art can really help people get through difficult things and difficult times. Um, so I think it's really important right now to find some way to be creative. Um, it helps people either focus on something more positive when negative things are happening, um, and it also helps people express themselves. So it's something that I've really been trying to instill and encourage in students. Um, as far as what types of art I really like, I like portraiture photography. Um, other things I do in my spare time is gardening. Um, this here is an image of my pumpkin family from last year. I am about to harvest my pumpkins from this year. Um, some of the current projects we've been working on in photography have been things that focus on composition and different types of art elements and design principles. Um, most recently, we were working with different types of perspective, like bird's eye and worm's eye. And through all these projects, it looks like students have really been going outside and exploring nature quite a bit, which is always fun to see. Just this last week, we also started using Photoshop, which has proven to have some technology challenges. Um, but these students have been really flexible and we are working through all those challenges. One Photoshop project that we will be starting soon is restoring old photos. So the students are going to be learning a variety of different Photoshop tools to remove damage and restore old images that might have some damage. So that is one project to look forward to. Some other important information. Um, students have frequently been asking me a lot recently about late work and students can turn in late work at any point. If there is any assignment that a student hasn't turned in, they still have an opportunity to do so. There's no deduction for having it late. Um, you and your student can check on Schoology to see what needs to be turned in. Schoology is also the best place to see the most up-to-date grades. Um, both Schoology and ParentView will have the grades posted on them. Schoology is just where I enter the grades and sometimes it can get a little delayed with um, transferring it to student, or student view or parent view. Um, so know that they should be in both places, but if there's any um, issue with seeing the grades on parent view, make sure to check Schoology. Um, we have been starting our Photoshop projects. And like I said, there has been some technology issues here and there, and some students are having some difficulty downloading uh, the two main programs that we're using, which are Photoshop and Bridge. Those are both Adobe softwares. Um, so if your student is having any kind of issues with downloading that or getting it to work, um, let me know right away. Make sure your student is communicating that with me so that we can figure out all those types of technology issues so that they can 
work on their projects. Um, the other thing is that we have a semester long project, which is a virtual museum visit. So normally students would visit an actual museum and see lots of art and compare different artworks and discuss what they've seen in museums. However, we are doing that virtually. So the students have a list of lots of different options for museums that have work posted on websites. Um, and some of them even have virtual tours where you can go through the museum virtually on their website. Um, so that is the way we are going to be going about looking at works in museums. Some students have been asking me about things like the Olympic Sculpture Park and more outdoor areas that have art that are open right now. And those are totally fine to use for this. It's just something that um, would be based on your and your students comfort level about going out and about right now. Um, but you don't have to go to anywhere in person. You can do it, the students can do it completely virtually. If you do need to contact me about anything, feel free to do so. My email is shegeman at nsd.org. Let me know if there's any issues regarding any kind of materials for this class, anything about assignments or Photoshop or any of those potential issues. Um, if there's something that um, might be a bigger issue than a simple email, um, you can schedule an appointment with me on Zoom and we can um, discuss things and figure things out further. Um, that is shelbymargarethegeman.youcanbook.me and that will show you all the different times I have available to set up any kind of Zoom meeting. The students also have access to this as well if they need help with anything on a particular assignment or having if they're having any issues with any kind of Photoshop or any of the software we're using, um, make sure that they schedule an appointment with me and we can work that out. So let me know if there's any issues with anything or if you need to contact me about anything. And I look forward to seeing more of your students' work.